Zoe is suited and booted today because let me explain something to y'all. This is a part of my new line that I'm coming out with called the line of succession. We're in America. This is the attire of the assassin. Capitalism is about capitalizing, which means now you're in the field of opportunism. And if you're not a mercenary out here wearing the proper garb of the social business ninja, nobody's going to take you seriously, right? That's right. Right? This show is about apotheosis. Look up the word apotheosis. A lot of Masons use it. Right? George Washington was apothesized in Washington, D.C. On the ceiling as... Apotheosis is a Greek word which means God making. This show is about making gods in our community. You feel me? It's a whole new get down right now. This show is live apotheosis. And I'm creating this line of clothing because I'm raising a new army of gods. How we are men who take control of their lives and are responsible for it. And, and, and along the way, I got haters watching the show, mm. reporting back to the enemy in my life. It's all right. It's cool. I look good doing it. Yeah. Let's keep it cracking. <laughs> Zoe Williams back in the building, haters. We got black businesses in the building. Let me get to it really quickly. Do we have Veronica Conway on the line right now? Veronica! Veronica, you there? Yes, I'm here. Hey, Zoe. Hey, Veronica, family. Listen, it's very important that um, you get everybody uh, uh, caught up to speed on your new Black Mastery program. And I'm telling you right now, this is a call to action. Go get the Black Mastery program, the neuro-linguistic program that changes and rewrites and uproots and eliminates all of the negative, self-defeatist thought process that may lie unconscious or conscious in your in your mindset in the background of your thought process veronica tell us how you put this thing together and tell them where is the new contact page well the contact page is still over at blackmastery.com it's www.blackmastery.com and here's the thing we've got less than 80 days left in the year if we are going, you know, there's a lot of talk about mobilizing and organizing, but if you're not internally organized, you are not fit to organize with others. We have got to get ourselves straight in our own minds first before we even have the consciousness to come together and be empowered with other people. So that's what this Black Mastery program is about. We've been subject to psychological warfare for the past, since the 60s, since my daddy went to prison as a Black Panther, we've been under psychological warfare, so this is a way to reprogram your mind from the psychological warfare that's been done did to you. Been done did to you? Blackmastery.com, <laughs> call to action right now. Go to her page right now, blackmastery.com, order it right now. Zoe Williams told you to do it. Look at me, anybody who's been paying attention to the show from RMC, no disrespect to them, over to T Radio V, you haven't seen a change or metamorphosis in the way Zoe gets down? Partly because of blackmastery.com. You better get it right now. Go get the NLP program, don't play yourself. Go do it right now. On to the homie. We juice. We juice. Yes. Black business. Let's go. Talk to them. Where can they get it? Uh, Wejuice.com. Um, you can find us on Twitter. Looking to improve your health and fitness. We're not just a we're just, not just juices. We're a health and fitness program also. Right. Living foods. Um, drinking juices. And you're a health, trainer. And I'm, I'm a trainer also. And just the overall program, we juice embodies everything. Wow. Fitness, health, energy, food. Right, and there it is. And he's got energy packages. He's got digestion packages. He's got nutrition, workout, recovery packages. Dude, you got to check in with WeJuice.com. On to the homie. What's happening, brother? What's happening, though? I appreciate you, man. You've been trying to get on this show. I and, have. And you work here, and you're yes. a good dude. And I said, yes. let's blow this man's business up. Thank what you. is it that you do? People don't even know who, well, you, who, who, who you really are, well, but we'll get into that in a second. Okay. What do you do? My name is Ryan King. I'm a realtor, 
And first, let me say thank you for letting me be on this show. Absolutely. I'm a fan. Thank you. You do brother. great work. Thank you, bro. And uh, it's an honor to be here. Man, I appreciate you. Now, let me, get, let me tell you people out there something. They're not making more land. And if you're looking for a smart investment, black people, young black people out there, get into real estate. Now is the time. That The huge crash that happened in 2008 is over. If you're looking to buy something smart, efficient and that's going to expand your money in in years to come but not too far ahead real estate is where it's at and come to me ryan king i'm at norman uh, and associates norman.com n-o-u-r-m-a-n-d.com i'm good with the pocket listings i'm gonna find you something that you feel comfortable with that's not out of your price range and let me tell you one more thing before i go most of you are renting you can buy a house that is for the if not the same price or a little bit more than what you're paying for rent, except you're going to own something. We have to change the minds and the way you look, the way you approach this. Ryan King, Norman.com. Check me out. Wow. Wow. A lot of businesses, a lot of stuff is happening. Let's keep it pushing. This is one of five copies left for everybody who buys a copy. I'm going to put in my God class lecture. Only five copies of The Rebirth of Seeds is left. Go to IamZoeWilliams.com. I am going to the post office tomorrow to ship out everybody's order from last week. This is the final show. I will promote my first work, The Rebirth of Seeds. It is over. Five copies. Move now and get a free copy of my lecture on religion and God called The God Class Volume 1. Now, if you want this, you have to go to CD Baby and look up Street Scholar, The God Class Volume 1. Purchase it now. You can even go to iTunes. It's on iTunes as well, but I prefer CDBaby.com because it's indie everything, right? Five copies. Anybody who buys the next five copies, you guys get a free CD lecture on God. Go do that. Also, one of our guests will be on today. His name is Noel Biederman. He created the website called AshleyMadison.com, a website that is designed for married couples to come and cheat discreetly. The name of the book is called Cheaters Prosper, How Infidelity Will Save the Modern Marriage. Noel Biederman, play yourself if you want to, live a fantasy if you want to, and see what happens. See how heart broke and broke your ass is going to be at some point. Real men don't play. Bobby Glanton Smith, the big uncle, the big homie, please continue to support. Again, get at us right now. I am Zowilliams.com. You want a copy? The final five copies of the Rebirth of Seeds are available right now. You want uh, Real Men Don't Play? Go to realmendon'tplay.com. Get Bobby's book. You Cheaters Prosper. We Juice. And, and where are you again? Norman.com. Ryan King, Norman.com. Ryan King, Norman.com. We got all types of businesses to promote. Arise Hospitality, Ramo Mart, Easy Boy Web, uh, uh, holeinthehead.com to, to find out the story of the brother who was uh, experimented on on his head and kept the secret under his hat for 70 some odd years. Nobody knew about it. I mean, we, we got so many businesses that we want to support and they all black. While you at home criticizing positive black people, I'm on the air uplifting, motivating black people to work together. Shame on your religious self. Shame on your false knowledge of what you've been studying for 20, 30 years and have no idea of what it means. If you're not building up another brother, you're a problem. If you're not empowering a sister somewhere, you're a problem. If all you got is negative criticism about what somebody else is doing, it's a mirror of what's happening in your life that you fail to acknowledge and deal with. This is what this show is about. This is what this platform is about. It's about building up our community. And I got on the the, the uniform of the assassin, and I ain't taking no more shit from no more pretenders. So if you want to get down with what we're doing, get at Zoe Williams. I am ZoeWilliams.com. We'll be back in 2.2 with the topic and guest. I'll holla at you in a minute. Deuces! And 
one of the greatest tragedies in life is getting to the end of your life and looking back and realizing it was mediocre and it mm. didn't have to be that way. The number one reason is people are unwilling to listen and care about the person. Mm. But what if you could be someone who dared to care about everybody in your life when you're in love, the smoke gets in your eyes, uh, but when you're anxious, you talk more than you listen. I asked my wife a month ago, I said, I don't know whether to have an affair or buy a motorcycle. And she said, if you have an affair, I'll kill you. If you get the motorcycle, you'll kill yourself. Go with the bike. <laughs> Wonderful so, music, Doc. I love you, it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, so why do women cheat? Well, here's something that men will never understand, but I think women understand. For a woman, a woman without warmth doesn't feel like a woman, just like a man without courage doesn't feel like a man. So what happens is when men behave in a way that turns a woman cold inside, it really attacks everything that she wants to feel. And there's a lot of things that men do that just suck the warmth out of women and that's another reason why women feel justified in cheating because mm. more, more women will feel he drove me to it. He drove me to it by the way he uh, treat, treated me, the way he looked at other women. He drove me to it. He took away the warmth in me. Whereas men, they cheat because they just they cheat. I mean, they notice something, they want it, and they get it. And here's the crazy thing is I think uh, why men go a little crazy if a woman cheats and may even drive them to domestic violence is because, as I said, a man without courage doesn't feel like a, a man, and when he feels like his woman has cheated on him, he feels uh, that all the other men would say, you put up with that? How can you put up with that? And so he takes it a little tad more violently and more personal than women do. Wow. And with that, Dr. G's alley-oop for today's topic. Let's get into it. 855-878-4652. Follow me on Twitter at Zoe Williams. Today's topic, the secret language slash lives of women. A deeper look into the anatomy and mind of the female cheater. Why does she cheat? As the doc said, is her reasons for cheating always justified by way of what we do? Or does she lie about what she really wants? 855-878-4652. I've got questions. Which form of infidelity hurts a man more? Emotional, physical, or financial? Question mark. Let's get deep. Who wants to answer these questions? Are reality shows like The Real Housewives of Atlanta Hollywood divas or shows like this an accurate look into the secret lives and language of women? Or is it a scripted false depiction? Somebody answer these questions. We got a whole august panel of people here that I'm about to introduce. Are needs not being met an excuse or a good reason for female infidelity? We talked about this in the green room. This is going to be very interesting. How much of female cheating is based on revenge? Get back. Eesh. The women in here, boy, I can feel them <laughs> percolating, right? How is it that women are able to cover their tracks so meticulously when cheating on their significant others? Women are quick to say, we're better communicators than you. If I wanted you to know, you would have known. Well, yeah, I hear that a lot, yeah. right? The signs were obvious. You weren't paying attention, right? This is going to be great, ladies and gentlemen. One more question, and then introduction of uh, the crew, the panel. True, false. True or false? Most women simply cheat because they are searching for an emotional connection. Something's missing at home, right? Is that a good reason? Is that in the majority? Look at you. Ooh, I can tell you done cheated on a motherfucker. Ooh. <laughs> I can see it. Are women mainly loyal to good sex, excitement, and financial stability? And when any of those leave, so does her loyalty? In other words, is female loyalty for sale? Ugh. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Look at Corey's face. Oh, 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 oh my God. Have Corey go first. We've got people in the building. Let me introduce the crew. 
Uncle OG Bobby. Real men don't play. In the building right now. Welcome, Bobby. I know you got some fire for this. Sitting right next to you is Jasmine Walsh. She's a model. She was on Big Brother. Uh, Femme Fatales on HBO. Look her up. She's a baller. You, you know who she is. Jesus. Just look her up. I want to say your, your last name correctly, Richard. How do you say your last name? Foltz. Foltz? Got it. Richard Foltz in the studio with over 22 years of family law, divorce, separation, annulment, child support, yada, yada, yada. He is an expert in the building ready to chime in. Dr. Mark Goulston. You know who he is. Famed author. Just finished writing the foreword to my new book. Yeah, and it's coming. The Relationship Dismount. How to stick the landing when you're trying to get away from someone else's coping mechanism. It's coming. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's the author of Just Listen and Real Influence, all both or both bestsellers in the building. Next to him, Dr. Nicole. Nikki. <laughs> Prouse. Prousey. Prousey. Yes. In the building. Uh... Associate scientist at UCLA in psychiatry, so she must know the inner workings of the female language. She will speak to us about it in depth. Next to her, Black Jesus is blowing up. He's in the building. So is the 5150 Nation. None other than famed comedian, actor, Corey Holcomb. He about to, look at his face. He about to kick that real. I see it is about to happen. And Old school homegirl from the Voice of Reason show on the RMC Network, Margot Hudson in the building. Model, relationship specialist, author, just all around guru type, holistic Erica Badu type flyness <laughs> up in here. About to get it cracking. The language of women. Anybody can jump in. Why do you guys cheat? Can somebody speak to that? Of course you will, Leo. Yeah, I'll take the mic. <laughs> All right, well, first we gotta, you know, women, a lot of times people think that, uh, you know, of course, you know, psychological, emotionally, women aren't getting their needs met, so a lot of times they'll go outside of the home. But even more than that, we gotta look at a few other things. One of them is that women are great multitaskers and we also keep our mouth shut. You know, when we're doing things, it's dirty. So a lot of times men won't find out and they've actually have studies that uh, have proven that women are better multitaskers. And men, a lot of times, aren't as choosy when they're cheating, so they get caught. Um, they don't put as much thought into it. Women do a lot more uh, thoughtful planning, and so the details are, are taken care of. We got the cover, the bases covered. The other thing is, is that women, the misconception is that, is that women are always cheating because of emotional things, and really a lot of times it's, you know, just like men get tired of hitting the same old thing, we get tired of the, you know, the, the same beefcake and doing it the same way over and over again, and a lot of times when you've been in a relationship for a long time, the passion melts away because the monotony it sets in and you get tired of doing it the same way. You lay there and you're like, okay, he's gonna get on, he's gonna eat it, he's gonna hit it, he's gonna go to sleep. So you gotta put some something in there. Women <laughs> we need <laughs> So a lot of times women women are missing that passionate, romantic, sexual connection. And a lot of times that's what it is. And a lot of times this is very interesting that they've done studies on this as well and it's very interesting. If women, I don't know if you guys can chime in on this, but a lot of times when women cheat, it's almost like a monogamous uh, uh, cheating, in a sense, so they, they'll cheat Very with one man. Meditated. They'll they'll find one man to cheat with. They don't find many men to put the penis inside. They'll find one man that they can have that connection with. That they get that that you know, with. Uh, Corey disagrees profusely. I'm coming right to the source. I don't know if y'all ready for what I got. I want you to grab that goddamn <laughs> microphone and get them ready. Let's go. <laughs> Look at Gary. <laughs> what? No, I'm just. This is all opinion, all right? Yes, and and no filter. Go ahead. Well, this is the problem. See, in society, um, most of the times, um, people comes. want to be accepted in a way that's positive. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, everybody is not a positive person. Mm -hmm. um, you have to claim being a whore at some point in your life. You're a whore. There are people who are born whores. Like in, in grammar <laughs> school, there's little girls you could tell, you're like, she's gonna be fucking everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> but nobody wants to claim it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Men, we all know how we do. We we born the fuck. It's just society makes it seem like we're bad because this is what we're going to do. Mm. It's not it's not it's nothing to hide. It's it's what we're gonna do for the most part. Most men who I know who take care of their families, they fuck around. Now I'm just saying, but 
women who fuck around don't want to be looked at as whores. They want to be looked at as something other than that. Like, oh, there's a problem here, or there's a problem. No, you're a whore. Why can't you just step up and accept who you are? That's what I So ask. you're saying women are not accountable for being whores? No. Whores are not proud of being whores, <laughs> so they find ways to blame other people for what they're doing. But and the justify is, their whoredom. You're, you're a whore. Maybe they're just horny. That, that's okay. Whore, horny, same thing. <laughs> oh, I, made, I think that made no. you feel better. <laughs> oh, God. Richard, speak to us. Well, after 22 years of doing divorce mediation, I finally came to the conclusion that I know what the leading cause of divorce is. What is it? Marriage. Ooh, mm. say more. <laughs> well, I come into a vast uh, variety of different infidelity situations, and there's been several things said. The one thing that I think that is the key to why most women cheat is there's some element missing at the home level that they have to look for outside the home. Mm -hmm. And it's not necessarily sexual. It's usually more emotional, mm -hmm. which translates into sex eventually because people want to be intimate. But there's also, you, you hit on it, so uh, revenge. Revenge is another big one. And it's not that the, the woman is going to send pictures or videos to the man so he knows, but she's just kind of snickering under her breath, I got you, sucker. Mm, and mm. The, and the, the third one is borderline nymphomania. I mean, they're getting plenty of it at home, but they have to have it with different people all the time, nonstop. So you're saying women are a lot more like men than we really know. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Whoredom. Ladies, uh, you got something for me, Bobby? Speak on it. Well, I think cheating starts with the first lie. Uh, and sister just mentioned something that... We don't talk about openly enough is what women expect out of a relationship to, and sometimes they want variety and they'll be the last one to speak on that because they're worried about getting slaughtered but um i think we've arrived at a point where we need to just go back to step one and that is start out with the truth that would avert a lot of the cheating are you saying on. women are liars by nature? I think not just women. Women women don't even have to lie because men don't put them in position where we're courageous enough to say, look, you know, are you really down with me like that? Are you like me, to me and you right now? Are you saying men are perpetuating a lie because we not being our true selves? Well, we don't we don't admit that first and foremost we do want to have sex. Mm. We don't want to go to the mall. <laughs> of course, I, yeah, that's the, we're right off the top, eighty dollars. <laughs> I got $80. I, I don't like free pussy. <laughs> Let me pay for this pussy. I don't like that. That's, that's a setup for failure. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take a quick break. When we come back, more of the secret lives and language of women. A deeper look into the mind of the female cheater. When we come back, we're going to hear Nikki. Dr. Nikki up in this piece out of UCLA. We'll be back at 2.2. Zoa Mornings, holla! And welcome to MarsVenus.com. I'm John Gray, and today we'll be focusing on why women cheat. Today we get new reports coming out every day that more and more women are cheating. Recently, the CEO of Ashley Madison talked about website for cheating couples, couples who want to cheat, individuals who want to cheat on their partners, 19 million subscriptions. What's going on here? And what's happening? You know, men have always gotten the rap in the past for wanting to be the cheaters. Now women are cheating. Almost as many women are reporting to cheat as men. In interviews, it's, <clears throat> it's almost the same amount. So what's actually going on? What are some of the reasons for that? Ultimately, what I believe the reason is, it's a combination of different things, but comes down to one thing, is that women are not satisfied in their relationships. And there is a gender difference here. Typically, women are bored, they're not, their partners aren't interested in them, they're not interested in their partners, there's conflict at home, there's lack of passion at home. And now, with greater financial independence, Women are more authentic, they're more willing to be themselves, their security isn't so much dependent upon a man, because they can be, they have the potential to be independent, they can take that risk, 
And in taking that risk, that in itself is arousing and promotes cheating. So men, on the other hand, have the same dynamic, but because men were financially independent always in the past, they had more opportunity. But the truth is women really did have the opportunity because so many men are really interested in having sex. It's not as hard, generally speaking, for women to get laid. Do you guys see a pattern? So women a pattern men. is developing for why women cheat. Of course, my final thought is going to be crazy. We have a doctor in the house. I like to go to the doctor. Dr. Nicole Nikki Prousey? Got it. Got it. From UCLA. Uh, let's really get into this. Is there a secret list of male frailties slash character flaws that may lead to female infidelity within the relationship? Like, is there something you guys see and go, I'm definitely going to be fucking his friend. This is... <laughs> Right? <laughs> Speak to that, <laughs> Dr. Nikki. I mean, I think the funny thing is we assume something's wrong with the relationship. If a woman steps out, if a guy steps out, that there's something missing. And in the vast majority of cases, people will say, my relationship, my sexual relationship with that person is fine. Like, it's just as good as anybody else's. It's, you know, we have our disagreements, but uh, that's not usually when people are cheating. They don't say it's because my relationship was falling apart. That's a minority of people. Mm. So it's not you know, necessarily that there's something especially wrong with the guy. Say more. Are you saying it's natural for little cheating to happen within the relationship with both genders? So I think what we're seeing is one of the best predictors of people that do cheat is those that have power, both in their job mm. or in terms of how attractive they are. Hmm. So the people...